He was a famous trumpet man from all Chicago way. He had a Today we're going to be doing a look that is inspired by Rosie the Riveter. So for today's look, we are going to need a bandana, a small barrel curling iron, some heat protectant spray, and of course, lots of bobby pins. So the first thing I'm going to do is take some heat protectant spray and just kind of go over um, most of my hair really well with the spray. And then I'm just going to section off the middle section. Here it doesn't have to be perfect. Oh, and about this kind of area here. Let's get a little bit nicer looking. We're going to Clip back all the extra hair here out of the way. And I'm also going to clip back this hair on the sides. Here they are. These are my clips. Just so we have everything out of the way that we are not going to be curling. And then we're going to just take our small curling iron and just start to curl this section here into small curls. And we're going to be just curling small sections. We're trying to get really nice, pretty curls. We don't necessarily want them all going in the same direction, so you can do them kind of randomly. He had a bulky style that no one else could play. He was a top man at his craft. But then his number came up and he was gone with the draft. He's in the army now, a blowing reveille. He's the boogie woogie bugle boy of Company B. They made him blow a bugle for his Uncle Sam. It really brought him down because he couldn't jam. The captain seemed to. Okay, so once we have our hair curled, we want to let them sit for a little bit and get nice and cool, and we're going to hairspray them really well. So we get a lot of holding power, even though we are just using a curling iron. Okay, and while these are cooling, we're going to work with the sides of our hair. Now, the idea of this look is to mimic the look um, where it's kind of like you're doing victory rolls, but instead of having the ends tucked in, you leave the ends laying out in the front so you have this nice big bunch of curl in the front. So we're just kind of going to be taking the hair on the side and just pulling it back nicely and bobby pinning. And the bobby pins are going to be hidden underneath our bandana, so it doesn't really matter um, if we don't try to hide them right now. You just want to make every, sure everything's nice and secure. Depending on how many layers and how short your hair is, you'll need more bobby pins. And the best way to get your bobby pins to stay in is, of course, to do the X shape. You have one going up, one going down, and this crisscross to lock them in. And then, of course, some hairspray to help that all hold. And then do the other side. Because the next day the cap went out and drafted a band and now. Alright, so now for our curls in the front, I'm just gonna very carefully um, start separating and placing them by hand into nice little ringlets. And this is a good time to go in and just touch up if you think there might be a curl or two that needs to have like this one in the middle. 
is kind of limp, so we're going to help it a little bit more. They don't need to be perfect, but you just kind of want to work and arrange until you get um, a layout that looks really nice. And of course, if you have some that are just really, really not behaving, you can pin them. But I like to try to do this look to where I don't really need a lot of pins. It can be a little bit more organic looking. And if you need to, you can also use a little bit of pomade or wax to help kind of help with any frizz that might be going on. Okay, so now that I got my little kind of um, curl bang everywhere I like it, I'm going to spray it again with hairspray. And now we are ready for the bandana. The bandana is a great thing for ladies with shorter hair because it covers up the back and you can't tell how long it is in the back. So we are going to take our bandana and fold it in half like a triangle. Just like so. And then we're going to place the long end at the nape of the neck, making sure to catch all of your hair. If you need to, um, you can pin up um, the back of your hair if it keeps poking out, but mine is um, doing just fine. Then we're going to fold the top over, making sure not to catch any of this hair. And we're going to tie once, like this, and then knot over our little tongue here, so that gets held in place. And then we just start tucking everything in, and you may need a bobby pin or two to help everything really stay in here. And there you go. That is our Rosie the Riveter inspired hairdo. Thanks for watching. To the bar, he's a boogie boogie bugle bar of company B. Do 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 da da do da da do do.